there, heading towards the mountains and the lakes. It's just clear blue sky all the way around and it's so nice and warm. It says it's 17 degrees on here, but it feels warmer in this car. Well, it's going to be in it, in this car. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got about 50, 60 miles to do and then we'll be at our final destination. Le destination? Final destination. Right, I don't know if you all remember this, but there used to be a game called Outrun and you drove along it and then there was mountains in the background. It is literally just reminding me of that at the moment, driving along here. So strange. Right, just stopped to stretch my legs a little bit. Saw so this plate, oh god, I am so stiff. Now, and I don't mean in a in a sexual kind of way, I just mean my legs are killing me. I just thought, being the weirdo that I am, I'd stop at a local graveyard and have a look round. Because they're just so different here, aren't they? Look at them. Like, really, really good. Now, I don't know how they work. I don't know whether the, the actual bodies are in these. If they, oh look, it's got people's faces on and everything. Oh yeah, there's like little things that you can undo and they probably slide you inside. And she from 1870 to 1950, you can't really see her. Yeah, look. Lungo Luigi, 1866 to 1946. Still can't get it to focus because of this stuff. Um. Oh, have we got? I think that's the oldest one, Lungo Luigi. It says Cassano Lungo. They are good. Oh, there's more in there. 1872, 1866, 1863. It's really good. It's like, obviously, it's really sad, but we've all got to go at some point. Now, obviously, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be opening it, don't worry. But look, for example, Teresa, who was born in 1901 and died in 1999. I think you just undo these and then slide them in. I'm guessing, same way. Oh, look at these on here. 1874, um, 1898. Oh God, there's a couple of spaces up there. This is the thing I don't like about this, right? So, You've got all your relatives, one by one, like your great-great-grandmother, great-great-grandfather. Oh, look at him. Look at that, that tash. I can't get anything to focus in here. You know, that tash on him. Then your aunt, uh, Deandre. He's quite a scary fella. Then your granddad, your grandmother, your great aunt and uncle, your dad, your mum, and then you know where you're going, don't you? It freaks me out, that, a little bit. I don't like the idea of it, that you know you're good. I know it's nice to be with all your family and everything, but I don't know, 1888. I think the earliest we've seen is 1860-something, isn't it? Yeah, look, all the spaces up there. It is, this is what we we do miss out, to be fair, having all the pictures of the people. You're about to see your family. We don't know it enough in the UK. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not showing the photo of this one. But 1946 to 1947. So sad. So, so sad. But, yeah. Some of them... Some of them are like proper looked after, they, they cared about the dead here, don't they? Not like a lot of our graveyards that are just trashed and a mess. But just think how much these things must have cost. Absolute fortune. Yeah, look, these ones, you just, they're all in here. It's weird that, to think they're all laid in there. That man with that tash. 
It's like, well, his tash is probably in there anymore, but yeah. Then some older ones looking like it up here. Yeah, 1852 is definitely the earliest we've seen, 100%. Right, I'm not going to walk all the way around here. See, look at these in comparison to these graves. I don't know if these are like children's graves or something. Like, look at the pomp and grandeur of these ones. Like, you know you're from a good family if you if you're in these oh these have got to be kids graves look at the size of them that is so sad there's an headstone here let's see if it does say on it it's kind of unmarked maybe the yeah look at the size they're definitely children's graves definitely children's graves what's this one say this one does say something on it yeah 1943 to 1945. Oh, that's awful. It's absolutely awful. I don't know. I, oh, wow, look. Look at this bit. This is when you've not got your own one, but you've got a bit more money. Either that or they've got a very big family. <laughs> but I don't think it's that. And there's more of these around the back. I'm not going to go right down. They've been washing it down here. It's not rained at all, so they've been in it. Someone's been in here cleaning it. And look, these things as well, putting flowers in. It's so well looked after. So well looked after. Now, really, this is the only one I've seen. I don't know if I can fit in here. Yeah, I can. There's not been cared for. There's pigeons, dead pigeons, and all sorts. But look at him. When did he die? He died in 1942, age 27. I wonder if he was in the army. In service. Per la patria. For the country. Is it service for the country? Um, by genitori e sui cari con. I don't know what that means. Passero. Oh, what a shame though. He was 27 years old. Alessandro Spala. Spala. I'm guessing that's his dad. Oh no, his mum, sorry. And she just died a few years later. Might have been even his grandma. Giovanni as well. When did he die? He died in 1964 and he was born in 1876. He was, he died in 1942 and was born in 1915. So, what a shame, I, like half your family outliving you. But that's what the war was like, innit? Look at him with his uniform on. Such a shame. So many people lost. But yeah, there's loads in here. But it feels like the family may have died out because nobody's looking after this anymore. Look at this one. Navazarote Pietro. Um, you say he's 40. La familia per 40. Anne. Yeah, he's 40. He's not 40. He's younger than me. No. Don't believe that for a minute. Leave that for a minute, but yeah, look at his. I wonder if he's in this top bit here. I know I'm a bit, he's a bit morbid, isn't it? But I think he's interesting me, like, especially being able to see the pictures of him as well. It's just, I don't know, it's just a, a different time, and it kind of just fits around everything that I do on this channel. I go and look at photos of people. But I don't do it when the bodies are next to me. That is all a bit odd, isn't it? But yeah, there's, I just look, I do love how all the photos are on them. Because you're never going to forget the face of your family, are you then? You just come down and have a look. Right, back to the car. And off we go to the next location. Right, back in the beast. <laughs> He's such a little tiny thing, isn't it? It's, oh my lord. <gasps> wow, well, you're not about to see that. See if I can get a photo or a video of it. Just a minute, wait a minute. 
Look at this. There's gazillions of them. There's more a minute ago. I lost them now, where are they? They're there, look. Absolutely. Look at that with the mountains. Look, look at them all now. They're coming up off the floor. Or are they landing now? Yeah, they were all, there were loads and the sunlight were catching them. Just looked. So strange, so strange. Anyway, oh, let's look at the mountains. I really want to get up into the mountains. If I'd got a little bit more time, I was looking a minute ago at driving to Lichtenstein because I've never been to Lichtenstein and it looks really nice. But it's, what was it now? It's a seven hour drive back from Lichtenstein to Trieste and a four and a half dri hour drive to Lichtenstein. So we're talking 11 and a half hours. I've got a bit, it's like, what time is it now? I've actually no idea what time it is now. Wait a minute. It is half past 12. I've got to be back at the airport at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So 11 hours on to now. You're talking, um, just after um, just after 11 o'clock tonight, I get there. Actually, that's 11 o'clock, including the journey back. But I wouldn't be doing, it's not worth the risk, put it that way, the timings could just go so wrong. You just can't predict, predict what's gonna happen. Like if I get a flat tire or something, I can't risk it. But I really wanna go to Liechtenstein now, I've got it in my head. Uh, I've been to Switzerland, I've been to Austria, which is like neighbouring countries, I've been to Germany, I've never been to Liechtenstein, so that is, that is one on the map to do in the future. <laughs> Don't go anywhere without taking the handbrake off, what have I got on me now? That's disgusting, I don't know what that is. Anyway, I've just booked a hotel for tonight, a little bit more expensive than I wanted it to be, to be fair, but it was like the, the choice of staying somewhere that was like three hour drive and I've got to be back to drop the car off at eight o'clock tomorrow morning so I'd have to set off maybe like half four or somewhere 45 minutes away and it was a little bit nicer like don't get me wrong it's like 77 pound but 77 pound that I didn't really want to spend but I need a, I need a good night's sleep after last night I definitely do revving the engine out of this right I'll see you in a minute Right, just because of safety and everything, I thought I'd have a 20 minute sleep, so I stopped in a car park and I've had a quick sleep. Feel a bit rubbish for it, if I'm being honest, but I will feel better in the long run. Uh, not a bad view, to be fair. Let me show you. Not a bad view out my window. So, anyway, I'm gonna crack on now, because I'm losing time. I'm also gonna stop for some food before I explore anywhere, because I think I need it. Right, let's kick on and get out of here. Just driving down here. I needed to say hello. Hello, donkey! Hey, other donkey! What a boy you are! You're a legend, mate. See you later, donkeys! Donkeys. What can I say? I am Dr. Doolittle. I talk to the animals. I do love a good donkey. That sounds weird. I do love donkeys. I think they're really good. Like proper got, I don't know. They're like horses. I know I'm sort of stating the obvious here. They're like horses, but they don't have that, self sense, that sense of self-importance that horses have. They're like, a bit like, oh, I'm just a donkey. I love it, I love donkeys. I am a weirdo, I am a proper weirdo. Right, so we're almost at the next place we're stopping and I'm hoping in a second we're about to see, I hope the trees just disappear a little bit and we can see where we go. Oh yeah, I hope they go, they're gonna, I think they're gonna. Yeah, we're about to see where we're going roughly. It's not far from here, but like I said, I am going for some food first. Look down there. Oh my lord, this is what Italy's about. 
I love stuff like this. I love water. Anyway, I'm, I'm a bit scared of water. I'm not. I am and I'm not. I just don't like the thought of being trapped in it. But I've always wanted to live near water, like a lake or the sea. So if I get another good view, I'll show you in a minute. Right, I reckon. Stop being quick. Look at this. I know this is somebody's drive. Just give me a minute. Now I've definitely been worse places on a Monday. Monday dinner time. Look at this view. Off into the distance, you've got the Alps in the background there. You've got the harbours down here. It's just beautiful. I love, I love Italy. I think it's just, it's just one of those places that you've got to visit once. Even if you're in America, or Australia, you've got to come to Italy at least once in your life. Anyway, there's a guy down there watering his plants, so I should probably shift. I don't think I'd be very pleased. I've just had an accident as well. I weed myself. So I decided to brush my teeth while I was driving. I had a had an accident and it's kind of splattered everywhere. <laughs> don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I'll get it off with some baby wipes or something in a bit. But once again, just 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 take that in for a second. Is that not amazing? Right, I might be going mad. I could be going crazy, but I'm swear I've just seen a massive man round here. Oh my lord, I wasn't I wasn't going insane. What the hell? That is huge! That's massive! I'm gonna have to stop for that. Right, I'm showing these people just for scale. Right, look at the size of them. Look at the size of that guy. He is huge. He's definitely the Pope, I think. Not the current one, a different one. That's mad how big that is. Alright, I think that gives you a better idea of scale. Look at the building compared to it. It's massive, man. Right. We're heading down towards the water. However, I've got the location in my sat nav. It's not really a sat nav, it's in my phone. Oh, there's a castle over there. Um, so I don't know if there's anywhere to eat down here. I'm hoping there is. If not, I might end up coming back up here before I go and explore, because I am quite hungry, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know what this place is. It's very cool buildings knocking about around here. I just don't want to stop filming really because there's a lot of good stuff to see. Like, wait two seconds and you'll see exactly what I mean. Look over there. I think that's Switzerland, you know. I think the other side of the water is Switzerland. I'm gonna stop again now and get a photograph here. It's been a nuisance in this car. Right, just stopped here. That's quite good, isn't it? Just stopped here. Um, I've just been having a look where restaurants are that are open. None of them are. They're all open after like six o'clock. There's nothing open really for dinner. So we're going to head back up the coast. It's a, it's a lake. So is it a coast? It's not the coast. Back up the up the lake, and there's two little things at the side of the road. I noticed. So I'm hoping they're gonna still be serving. They look like they were, doing some great gear work. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get to sit next to the water and then go on what looks to be an amazing explore, an amazing explore. My lips look very shiny. I think it's just because of the sun we're on them. But right, see you back down there. Right, these are those little hot things I was on about that do food. I think they do anyway. I'm hoping they do. Although there doesn't seem to be many people about. Mm. Oh, maybe there is at that one. Just say food and snacks on it. We'll go and give it a go. See what, what's what. You never know, they might still be serving. Right, I've spoken to the guy down there. He said because it's out of season, nowhere's gonna be open. 
at the moment. It's obviously winter here, it's winter at home. Um, yeah, that's that's for tonight as well. Um, yeah, so he said, if I go about four kilometers down the road, I'll find somewhere. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm stood in the middle of the road here. But it's only because I want to get some food down there. Have you seen that place? The gates are just saying abandoned all over to me. But I don't know, I don't know if it is or not. Thing is, if it had been a couple of days ago, I probably would have gone and had a look. But I ain't got time. And this place, ah, Jesus, I've got stones in my shoes. This place that we're going to looks absolutely amazing. Oh, itchy news. What is wrong with me? I'm falling to pieces, man. Right, just get these shoelaces sorted and stones sorted. What's this? Uh, oh no, that's it's just like a supermarket. Right, food, 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 where are you? See, this isn't really what I wanted. However, I just need to hurry up. So, this is what we're having. Right, I ordered this because I thought it would be small. Plus a calzone. Yeah, not small at all. But I suppose I can take the calzone in the car. Right, so that's cool as well. And it is massive. Absolutely massive. Right, so after that, well, I've got a look, tiny kit cut from last night's Explorer. Uh, it's only very tiny. But, in preparation for the Explore, because I've just eaten all that food, <laughs> there's got to be toilets in there. So, I will be using a toilet. I know I need one, I'm going to need one. And there's no toilets around here at all, I've looked. Right, back to the car. Right, I've come down to the beautiful waterfront for a poo. I hid around this corner and had one. I'm not going to show you, don't worry. But, just look at it in front of me. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, that's disgusting. You shouldn't be pooing there. It's so beautiful. Don't have a poo. Animals poo everywhere. And animals will probably eat my poo. And then they'll poo their own poo. So there'll be poo on poo on poo. It's just how it happens. But anyway, I want to show you. I'm actually technically on the grounds of the place I want to go but the place I want to go is at the other side of a big big gate however this used to belong to them as well this was their little thing down to the water that we're on at the moment so I'll show you right, so almost opposite that castle we're at the bottom of their stairs and I will show you up here now, I don't think we're going to get in here, but we're going to give it a go. I'm sorry that I'm only showing you steps at the moment, but there's a reason. This place is where I'm trying to get in. Now, I know people that have been in there before. Look at all that. Look at it outside. There's a museum connected to it next door, but the museum is a museum in its own right, but it's in the grounds of the place. This is empty. I'm hoping find a way in but it's not so much finding a way in the house it's finding a way over this fence and the wall it's ridiculously big I was gonna try and get in through the museum there's somebody there with their dog so I don't really know but look this is their steps down to the water this will have belonged to them they would have come and walk down on this big busy road weren't you right so I've decided to come at it from above. This is going to be awful. Look at this. I'm going straight down there. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beeper Sister Seekers in Italy, in the lakes. Looks amazing down there. Now, the place that I'm about to try to get in is directly down there, straight down the hill and it's going to be an absolute nightmare to get down there. Now, I've tried around the front. The road is ridiculously busy. There's people about, people watching. So I thought my only option is to come this way. So it's going to be a disaster getting down here. I know it is. Right, we've been going about 30 seconds and I'm already bleeding. But it's just brambly and awkward. 
everything's so steep, like ridiculously steep. Now, it does seem like an animal or a person has walked down here be before because there's like little tracks that run off. So I'm gonna try and follow those. Should make my life a little bit easier at least. Right, so I've come absolutely miles down already. Um, I'm not, not really bleeding now, which is good. Although everything is just slipping away under my feet. Like the earth is so dusty and the hill is so steep. I'm definitely gonna end up slipping down here in a minute. Right, it's not gonna work particularly unless I get like a stick up my arse. But not good, is it? Right, I just had to slide down that bit on my arse, forgetting there's absolutely loads of horse chestnuts on the floor. If you know what, not horse chestnuts, just normal chestnuts, sweet chestnuts or whatever they are. They are spiky little bastards up your arse. Trust me. Right, we're getting further down. I don't think we're that far off now. So, realised the house down there that I was heading towards is the wrong house. And I'm now at the wrong side of the fence. However, I've just found a hole in it. So I'm going to now scramble under that to get back into the right bit of garden. If you can call it garden, it's more like bloody jungle. Seriously, I've made a massive mistake coming this way. It's getting thicker and thicker. The drops are getting sketchier. Like it doesn't look big, but it's just slippy and quite dangerous. And it's starting, it'll be starting to go dark soon. And then I am fucked in here. I can't, it's gonna get so, so dark in here because it's dense as anything. And I think the place I need to go to is that way. I am half killing myself to do this. It was the worst decision ever coming this way. It really was, although I've come into the next door neighbor's garden now and it's actually a lot easier. Not as overgrown. However, I run the risk of being caught and there's a big wall, but it's broken down there. So I'm hoping as we get further down it, it will be more broken down. But if you look on this side of the wall, it's brambles. So that's why I'm staying on this side for now. Their house is right over there. So should be all right, as long as I stay a good distance away. Right, so I'm not as far away as I thought I was. Their house is behind that little bit of trees there. The grass is there, like the lawn. So I'm gonna have to probably jump over this wall. Because if I carry on down there, I literally think I'll pop out on the end of their lawn. So it's my one and only choice, but the thing is I ain't getting back over because that wall's massive. So, and this one's awkward. So it looks like I've got to make sure I get out the front, really. But as far as I'm aware, I don't know if anybody's got in here before. I know a couple of people have been here before, but I don't think they've got in. Whereas I am, because I've just found an open door. My eyes gone funny. I've just spent, I've just come through these trees for about a mile and a half, and it was horrendous, thick, horrible, like vines and all sorts. And I will put that in the catch up video. But this is just the back of the place. The front of the place is amazing. And I'll have to try and show you the front before it goes dark. Right, so this is the back of the building. I've just come from up there. I just found a little sort of hole in the floor. We'll go back and have a look at it in a bit if we get time. But there's a pond here behind me. There's some stairs that go up to something up there. We'll have to see what's up there if we get time as well. But the, the sun's setting and the view from the front of this building is absolutely amazing. Now this is the front of the building. If you look, you've got all different statues all the, or busts all the way along. You've got the big four pillars there's something up at the top as well. Hoc erat votis. Hoc erat votis. Right, let me try and show you. 
it's hard because I don't want to be seen. There's cars coming past every second. And I've seen loads of police cars. Look at it out of there. That's the view you would have across the Italian lakes. But wow, what a place. Anyway, I can't hang round round again. Oh, he's brilliant. Oh my lord. I've just looked up. Look at this entrance way though. I love that little door, but then look at this. Oh. I'm sorry about the occasional bit of breath that keeps coming from me. It's because I'm going, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. That's good. I wonder what it represents. Those things, it's like the finery of life. Look at this chandelier as well. But this ceiling is just absolutely fantastic. It really is. That's the coat of arms on that side as well. Right, I've probably brought you to the best rooms already and then we're gonna get upstairs, there's gonna be nothing for you to see. <laughs> but at this point, I don't care because I've seen it with my own eyes and I'm happy. This is unbelievable. I'm scared I'm not gonna do it justice. This is why I'm taking so long. Look at this ceiling. It's like huge. That looks like the English flag up there. It's huge pieces of art in the corner. Well, all the way around really. Look at that. <gasps> That's unbelievable. That's so pretty. Then I've got another portrait in that corner. Don't worry, it's not ghosts, it's my breath. We've got something else. Another portrait in that corner. Oh, another scene of trees and mountains. That's like I've just walked down to get here. And then a little old lady in that corner. That's amazing. Right, I've just finished the video of this place. I've kind of borrowed a pair of a uh, set of ladders. I did get another ladder around the back, but it was only tiny. But there was some underneath here. So I'm just gonna move them down there. I'm not taking them off the land or anything like that. They'll still be here for them to use. But we're going down there. There's also an extra bit down here that I can show you. But I've just gotta be really careful because I'm gonna be seen. Because look, only needs to be a police car coming past. But look at that. How wonderful is that? Right, these are the extra bits you get to see when you're not watching the main video. But look, we've got little Mary. It says Ave Maria. Don't, I'm guessing that's donated by Tiziana Renato Fantoni. This is why I thought there might be tunnels that like went behind here, straight underneath the house. Because if you look, look at this. House is directly there. So you'd think there would be. Anyway, I now need to somehow get over this. Right, walking up all the back streets now, back to the car. Because the car, if you think about how far I came downhill, it's miles up there. It's steep. I've just tried to book a taxi. No taxis around here. Uh, I thought that, but worth a try. Um, I know I'm, sounds like I'm being lazy. It's only because I've got like a three, three and a half hour drive to the hotel. So I'm just trying to get there and just chill out before I fly home. Not only do I love all these little back alleys like this, but every corner you turn, there's a massive church, like really good churches as well. You can't see up there, there's some illuminated crosses. I, don't, I can't see them now. Like purple, oh, you can just see it there behind the tree, look. But it is proper cute Italy. Little back streets with the balconies and stuff like that. And the biggest hills in the world. I wonder if I can get some water out of here. Let's have a look. I certainly can. Let's see who's having a drink. <laughs> Dripping beard now. Mm, that was good. That was really fresh and freezing cold. <sighs> Just what I needed. All right, how much electricity is that using? That is the biggest tree in the world. It's bigger than that house. And it's absolutely covered in lights. Jeez, I'm dead. This hill is so steep. And that water's making me burp. Right. 
see look these are all the old gates oh that's that church look we were just at and the purple crosses are down there but like there's loads of these old gates when i was walking down earlier for the old big houses some have been replaced some are still there but it's really good to see like how some are lived in and some aren't like the place i came to first that i thought was the place i was looking for i thought oh no i've stumbled across their house it was their summer house and it was seven times as big as my house and then people screaming down there um then i stumbled across another bit and i'm like oh no i thought oh, here we go this is their house and it was like a games room it was huge and then their house was behind it and it was massive right, i'm almost there i'm not fucking happy though so i messaged the hotel nice and early and said i'm probably not going to be there for the check-in time um can i pay in advance send you a photograph of my passport and uh, just leave me a way of getting in and they've said no so they'll refund me the money probably hopefully you never know they might not do um but then, fucking hell. But then, I won't get it back for a week. This probably means I won't have enough money to stay anywhere tonight. So, fucked off a bit. Especially because I'm walking up the biggest bastard hill in the world and there's no car in sight yet. At last, the little annoying tiny bastard is here. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I am so tired. My legs were tired before. They certainly are now. I've done well over 30 miles now. Um, this trip, maybe more like 35 walking. And it starts to get to your legs after a bit. I've got strong legs, but I've also got a lot of weight to carry. So anyway, in the car, head to where we're supposed to be going and then work it out from there. Right, so we're just driving past Milan on the way back. So I've tried to, I've talk, talked to the uh, hotel, they've just cancelled the booking altogether. So 100% can't stay there. Use the left two lanes to take the exit towards A4. Just try to listen to this. Uh, then um, I booked another place and I specified that I wanted to check in between. Shut up! To, to book in, check in between midnight and one o'clock in the morning and they declined that as well. Um, so now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to find somewhere with 24 hour check-in, but it's a bit awkward. So I need a drink desperately, but I haven't seen anywhere. I haven't seen services or anything stop that. So don't really know what to do. But yeah, we're just driving past Milan anyway. Um, I've got three and a half hours drive to do yet. Not gonna lie, I'm so glad I've done my final explore. I'm so, every time I sit down for any period of time, I am so sick and stiff. Like the walking I've done today and like the activities over the last two days at the asylum and then at this place has near on killed me. I am so tired, like ridiculously tired. I'm so glad I'm going home. Head south towards A4, oh, adds Brianza Sood. Absolutely sick of you. Nothing more. 
I so, so thick. So, I'm driving right down the middle of the road at the moment, just to be on the safe side. There's hardly anything on the roads anyway. I ain't come behind a car for ages. There's been nothing behind me. I've got about an hour and 20 minutes to the hotel, and then I'll chill out and sleep for maybe four hours before I'm up again. is right here, right next to the, the uh, lift. Right, let me uh, just try and get this sorted. There we are. What do I do with this? Have it there? Oh, it's a little bit fancy, this, isn't it? Oh, this place is nice. I don't know what that. Oh, in there. Put it in the little slot. Is that right? We appear to have no lights. How do I turn the lights on? Oh, press the light switch. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? That's a nice big bed. That's a nice shower and toilet. It's a very square toilet as well. I've seen a lot of square toilets in Italy, to be fair. Right, let me just dump this stuff. Two seconds. Passport, phone, trainers, bag. What's this? Is that the bathroom? Yeah. There we go. I can see it a little bit. Oh, what's happening here? That's better. See a bit better now. Look. Yeah, square toilets seem to be a thing, which I think is hard. I am just a trampy mess. I've got blood on my legs. I just look like a right mess. But anyway, I am going straight to bed. This place is nice though, I like it. And it wasn't that expensive. It was it was probably more expen expensive. Oh no, look at this. Right. Look at those filthy hobbit feet. My feet are swollen. My ankle is swollen right up as well around there, look. Like it's all fat at that side. I can see the colour of my foot down this edge. This here is not dirt, it's bruising. My feet are bruised, like totally bruised from jumping off stuff. Now the reason they're this colour, and don't worry, I am going in the shower um, in the morning before I go, oh no, I've got to go in, I can't get in that bed with these feet. I'll have to do it now. But the reason um, they're bruised and like that, it's from jumping off walls. Jumping off walls, and I've walked 39 miles since Friday. And it's it's uh, basically Monday night. So, my feet are swollen, my ankles are swollen. I don't think that one's quite as swollen. But that one, like, I've got no definition in my ankle, it's just a big fat ankle. And then there's bru you can see the bruising all the way down the edge of that foot. Horrible. So, hey, B day. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my feet in the B day and then I'm gonna have a proper shower in the morning. I'm too tired to fuck about. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not jumping in the shower now. It'll wake me up. So, B day for the feet. Sort the rest out in the morning. <sighs> morning. It's seven o'clock. I've got to get the car back by eight. I'm dead. I got here at half past two and it's, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I just want to get out of here now, get on the plane, drive home, and get a bath and have a sleep. Oh, I feel rubbish. My legs have just stopped working. I can't get up. I literally can't. My arms, my legs, everything's hurting. Everything is hurting. Right, up, dressed in about 10 minutes. I went to have a shower. It's only coming out cold water, I don't really know why. So, I'm just going to put up with absolutely stinking my arse off. And whoever sat next to me on the plane, I feel so sorry for. We're all ready to have the best ever shower, but it's not happening. I'm just getting this sponge, because I've, I've spat um, 
Oh God, what am I doing here? I can tell I'm half asleep. I've spat toothpaste on the inside of the car, trying to spit it out the window. And it's a right mess, so I'm taking a, a sponge to try and clean it up. Right, go in. Right, we're out of here. Well, that's when we've not run over this man. I don't know if you remember it on this bit last time. It's where that um, Roman amphitheatre thing was. So we're literally just round the corner from there. That's where we stayed last night. I really have to say, I do like Trieste. That hotel was really nice. I got a, a salmon and avocado sandwich yesterday. It's the darkest brown bread I've ever seen in my life. Don't know if it's still gonna be all right. It's been sat in the car all night, but at the end of the day, I'm starving. Um, I want something at the um, airport, but I don't know whether I'm gonna have time. So I'm gonna crack on and have this, and then if there is something, I might get something as well. Right, we're at Trieste Airport. Now normally, I'd do it all the way to home, but you know what? I'm, I'm tired, I can't be bothered. I just wanna watch YouTube and chill out now. So I hope you've enjoyed the behind the scenes this time. I've really enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about the drone. I feel like I've let you down a little bit. Um, I've said that a lot recently. And I know you all tell me off for saying that I've, I've let you down, but I just want the best for you. I want you to see all the best things. Anyway, have a great day and we'll see you on the next trip.